hi everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are visiting for the first time thank you so much for stopping by my name is Antoinette I enjoy doing all things home decor DIY organizing and entertaining for special events I hope you will enjoy my content and I hope you will consider subscribing it's this time of the year to think again about Christmas decorations and I love to decorate my home for Christmas and I can't wait to share everything with you guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how I decorated my mantel and fireplace area for this Christmas. Decorating your fireplace mantel adds a quality to the room and of course there are so many beautiful ways and creative themes to decorate your fireplace area. So my friend Jessica from Measure and Mix and I uh, co-hosted an open invitation challenge and we invited everyone to join us in this club and to show us how to decorate a mantel or fireplace area for Christmas. I will leave a link in the description box below this video for the playlist also for uh, Jessica's channel I'm sure you all know her by now I coasted with her in the past last year was our DIY Christmas centerpiece I will link that in the description box below in case you haven't seen it I am so excited to be coasting this fun club with Jessica she is very creative and very kind I love her and I adore her channel you should definitely check out her channel if you haven't already and make sure to visit the playlist and watch all the videos for for lots of inspiration. I love decorating my mantle for different holidays and I love making custom garland. I have so much fun building mine. It just motivates me to get extra creative and make something super pretty. These command hooks were from Staples. I leave them here on my mantle all year long. I love to use them for extra security. But first, let me tell you my Christmas theme for this year, which is Dusty Christmas. I searched on Pinterest to see what's trendy for 2019 and what will go well with my existing pink decorations. And I found that a combination of plum, burgundy, and pink would look absolutely pretty so i am going with this theme and my inspiration idea for my mantle came from pinterest as well i really love these cascading garlands and i thought why not diy it so i'm gonna start with this garland it's nine feet long it has some pine cones on it and i picked it up from michael's last year off season for just six dollars and i'm gonna place it on my mantle starting here at the end i'm gonna secure it well then do the other side same way and then i'm gonna hold the middle and pinch it like this to make my first swag like this one Then I'm gonna fluff everything nicely. I wanted this garland to look like the middle swag is the longest and the two around it a bit shorter and the ends a bit shorter to give it that cascading look but in a triangle shape. I have had this old garland for a long time. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it up. Then attach each one to the garland by twisting the branches together like this. Next step, I am adding these LED lights that I use all the time and they were from Costco. Now that the lights on, I am gonna go ahead and add more greenery picks that I had from long time ago.
I'm just gonna weave them into the garland like this to make it look thicker and fuller. Along with these sparkly ones to add more texture. Also I have these frosty branches with little pine cones on that I got from Michaels long time ago. I used them on my mantle last year. I'm gonna leave that video down in the description box so you can watch the video from last year. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add them all over the garland. Now I'm adding this gorgeous pink poinsettia that I really love and I have been using it for the last few Christmas. I'm gonna just add it in the middle here above the long swag. These gorgeous feathered ornaments I picked up from HomeSense this year, I'm gonna place them on each side of the poinsettia flower. Also, I'm adding these ornaments that I already had and they were from HomeSense as well. I'm just gonna add them and secure them to the branches very well. I really love how it's coming out so far. I might leave it like this for now, but we'll see. I'm just gonna add this belief sign from last year it was from Michaels along with these cute birds and these Christmas trees all were from Michaels now it's the next day I thought to add more stuff so I went ahead and added more ornaments and some of these pink sparkly picks that I got from dollar store and I cut them like this then weave them into the garland also, I snipped some pieces from this long sparkly stem and added between the garland like this one to give it that elegant and whimsical look. Finally, I added these berries that I had from long time. I just weaved them into the garland like this. I absolutely love the finished look of my mantle. I think it turned out super cute. And every time I decorate my mantle, I also like to decorate around the fireplace. So for now, I'm just adding these lanterns and these big angels that I picked up from home since last year, along with these reindeers. Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out the playlist for more ideas like this one i want to thank jessica for co-hosting this fun club with me and thanks to all the participants in advance i cannot wait to see what you guys will come up with stay well and have fun i will see you on my next one